So you wanna go from a quick release to a through axle on your 2023 Marin Rift Zone 1. Well, today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that and tell you exactly what parts you need to make this process possible. Let's go ahead and let's get into this. So this is quite a bit different than the Marin Rift Zones in the past where you wanted to convert over to a through axle. And that's simply because they switched over to the SRAM UDH standard for derailleur hangers. The threading for the actual through axle is no longer on the frame. It's built into the rear derailleur. So the first couple things that you're gonna to wanna to do if you wanna switch over to a through axle is of course, get a brand new wheel that is compatible with a through axle. Now remember, this is boost spacing. So you're gonna to wanna to get a boost spacing wheel or hub to replace the existing wheel or hub that's on your bike. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, of course, is transfer over all of the stuff to that new wheel, your cassette, and your disc rotor. Then the next step is gonna to be to remove the derailleur hanger that is currently on the bike. And to remove the derailleur hanger, you are gonna to have to remove the rear derailleur. So you're gonna need both a five millimeter Allen key and a six millimeter Allen key. First, let's go ahead and remove the rear derailleur. This takes the five millimeter Allen key, and it's as simple as unscrewing the bolt on the rear derailleur from the derailleur hanger. Now, once you've got the derailleur removed from the hanger, we can go ahead and start removing the old UDH derailleur hanger. This one has to be removed because it's designed for that kind of quick release style axle and not the through axle that we're gonna be replacing it with. So now that you've got that derailleur hanger actually removed, we can go ahead and put on the brand new through axle style UDH derailleur hanger. And I've got some links below to this specific derailleur hanger that I picked up and this one will work perfect for this job. So look down in the description and you can grab one of these really cheap, right around 16 to $18 and this will get the old one replaced with this brand new one. Now this one will take an eight millimeter Allen key, so a little bit bigger. Now they do recommend 25 Newton meters of torque, so let's go ahead and torque this down. And after you get the new derailleur hanger on, go ahead and reinstall your derailleur to the hanger. Now for the most important and one of the trickier parts to find is the through axle. You guys are gonna wanna pick one of these up. I purchased this from Wheels Manufacturer. It was a little under $40. And the specs on this that you're gonna specifically need is 12 millimeters by 174 millimeters. And the thread pitch has to be 1.0. That's to make it compatible with the UDH derailleur hanger threads. And this one happens to have a 13 millimeter thread length on it. So that should work perfect for the SRAM UDH hanger. Now that you've got your hanger on, your derailleur on, and you've got your through axle, let's go ahead and mount up the wheel. Now you will want to apply a little bit of grease to the threads on the through axle. And the wheels manufacturer through axle takes a five millimeter Allen key. Now wheels manufacturer does recommend that you do 12 Newton meters of torque on their through axle. So let's go ahead and get that torqued up. There we go. Now you may have to make some adjustment to your B-screw as this hanger is just slightly different, but all you'll need is a two millimeter Allen key and then you just thread the B-screw in appropriately and get it to the correct tension. So there you go, that's how you change out a standard axle to a through axle on a Marin Rift Zone 1, the 2023 model. Now this is different, like I said earlier, for the 2022 and below. So if you are running a UDH derailleur hanger, this is the process that you would need to go through to actually make this possible. I'll put some links below for the derailleur hanger you'll need and for the through axle you'll need. But if you guys found this video helpful, hit the like button, leave me a comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, but we'll see you guys in the next one.